Hello, fellas. Isn't it a bright and sublime day today? Oh, who the fuck decided it was a good idea to invite Ben Shapiro to our gaming session? De Sanctimonious, what were you thinking? Hey, you said you would retire that nickname. What the fuck, Donald? Don't what the fuck Donald me, I lied. I lie all the time. I think Kokichi Uma came to me in a dream, and he told me he aspired to be me. I doubt no one aspires to be you. That would be funny, really. Nobody above the age of 30 knows who that is. First of all, your little protege Vivek invited me here today, and he also gave me permission to decide what we are doing today. What did I tell you, Donald? Ron, no one asked you, and no one will ever ask for your opinion. The fact you needed a meme on the screen to back you up tells me you aren't so sure about that. I'm not the insecure one around here. That's you, minus Ben, when he is talking to any British person. Oh, that debate was rigged against me. But I still won it, and I won it by a lot. You know what, I'll give you credit for that. Ben is a good friend of mine, and when he isn't talking faster than Sonic the Hedgehog, you can understand where he is coming from. Oh, Vivek, you are a good friend, but you are a bad roaster. Leave that to the big guys, you have a long journey to go on, boy. Okay, please turn on the Minecraft parkour video. If all this is going to be, is a roasting session I want to get this over with. What? These two are like two cows just crawling on the floor, just begging for their demise. Come on, Vivek, can you give me the honor? Yeah, no, that's creepy as fuck. Twelve seconds later. My friend always acted strange when it came to my feet. Me, 16, female to male. Vivek, you do realize that I am questioning whether or not you either fit this story because it was weird to begin with when you exclude all the gender brainwashing, or you just wanted to find an excuse to annoy everyone in this call. Ayo, what the fuck? I can confirm that is me, but I already stopped, so you may want to talk to the guy who plays war on a state's entire education system. Why are you all acting like you saw a ghost? How else did you expect me to react? Moving on, since we were little and played truth or dare, she always got my or her feet involved. Uh, licking, sniffing, putting in my or her face. Okay, come on, this is what Joe Biden does on a daily basis with Jill in the bedroom. You saw his tweet, but come on, the guy's bluffing. He probably only lasts like five seconds in there. I'm starting to think Biden lives in your head rent free. I mean, they are Democrats. They wanna get through life with everything. Shut the fuck up, no one cares. I'm gonna continue reading. She touched them and so on, but we were little and it just seemed as a quirk kids have with some things. But she didn't stop even when we hit puberty. And that is when it got more weird. Oh Jesus, before we know it, he'll, I mean, she'll- Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man, what the fuck, man? I invited this kid. Don't appropriate that kind of conduct, Vivek. They are two little girls. If you fuck up the pronouns again, I'm gonna bash my head against the wall until I pass out. I'll join you. Did someone give Ron too much caffeine today? He's usually as low energy as someone like Jeb Bush. Anyway, I'll continue the story. Please stop butting in, guys. You sound like obnoxious hogs. As always today, we were playing truth or dare, and I he dared me to have her feet in my face. It was a dare. And I was used to her asking these things. Then she started putting on my feet some things for pedicure I found in my house. She said she wouldn't stop until she put it right. And as she finished one foot, she blindfolded me and she fiddled with it. She just stopped trying and put my foot in her face. It was really weird. She laughed and seemed happy. I mean, it's okay to have kinks, but tell me, at least I'd know what to do. Any advice on how to deal with this? Personally, she should convince her friend to do a DNA test because if anything, she is a lost cousin of Dan Schneider. The fact you know who that is, a guy who has an absurd obsession with kids' feet is very uncomfortable. I thought your My Little Pony obsession was already enough for you to knock off to. Come on, Ben. You'd be on cloud nine if you could suck one of my toes. And FYI, My Little Pony is a good show. Watch it sometime and maybe I'll like you better. You! What the fuck I love you, and I would do anything for you to be my sugar daddy. You can ask my ex-wife for reference. Personally, my best attributes and kinks are the following. Chaining me up and choking me half to death. Or in other words, known as erotic asphyxiation. Also, Ron, I... Wow, uh... Maybe you didn't give him enough coffee, did you, Vivek? Whoops. Okay, I'll take the blame for that one. I mean, hypothetically, most likely in the literal sense, he will respawn in a future episode, so we don't need to worry. But Ben, listen, my guy, that was creepy as fuck. How much do I have to pay you to keep that behavior down to a minimum? I have half a bucket full of puke, and I don't want it to overflow. 10,000. You have a deal, my good sir. I'll make that deal. How about you, you bitch, you make that deal? I'd make that deal. I don't blame you. Damn good deal. Yeah, that was a really good deal, but can I invite a friend since Ron is uh, AFK? 
You can go right ahead. Tommy, it's your boy Snoop Dogg dropping some lyrical rhymes Celebrating Tommy's birthday, gotta make it so fine Sasha the Queen, we're in the dog by his side It's an endless ride, Tommy, my manly's off green Well, that was a very unique introduction to a Snoop Dogg That was a meme, are you behind the times or what? The fuck? It's your boy Snoop Dogg, how's everybody doing? Man, Donald, it's like you know everyone Welcome to the group Snoop Dogg I loved your California Girls song with Katy Perry. I know it must have been hard lying through your teeth for four minutes straight and working with Katy Perry. I would have died being in the same room with that feminist. Well, that's the point of drugs. I can hook you up with anything. Just send me your number and address and I'll give you a, um, a helping hand to say the least. A friend of Donald's is a friend of mine. You should work with Hunter Biden, maybe he would have a better job at- Fuck no, that dude is a creep. Anyway, can I read the next story? Yeah, sure. Who said you were the group leader, Ben? Are you good, Donald? Your mom. I told you this little boy was behind the times. Where is your sword and shield when you're at it, little boy? Anyway, here goes nothing. So let me start off with this. I completely agree with him losing his job. His name is Eric Burgess. Wow. My homie really exposed this man, but- Look his name up and you'll see plenty of information on him and his... Yeah, YouTube would strike us down if I said that word. After Ron killed him, I mean after Ron decided to unalive himself, I think we lost all of the advertisers minus maybe Rockstar or Bud Light after the whole boycott. Bud Light is amazing. Don't tell Ron that when he wakes up, he'll send himself to hell. You know, I don't even have to know the rest of the story. This is basically the class of 2008 and this dude is some sort of depressed, socially anxious fat asshole that takes his problems out on minors. Kinda reminds me of Chris, but he takes it out through eating himself to death. I don't know what is worse. At least he said his spawn. It's called Class of 08. Siri, play the Daily Who Asked meme, please. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Game Theory. And on this episode, we're gonna be trying to figure out who the fuck asked. I'll move forward with the story. He was a teacher at Rosemead High School in California. Rosemead was known for the teachers crossing boundaries that should be there. Administrations looked the other way a lot when something would get reported on a teacher. For a school to be this negligent and stupid is telling me these people are too busy going off getting abortions in their electric cars to even give a crap. It's that, or they are on stuff harder than I am, and I'm the fucking seller. Or they are hanging out with their governor at a terrible movie premiere. Anyway, I'll continue reading. They eventually had to either let him go or he would have to pull a Nixon so it wouldn't look as bad on his resume. He pulled five Monica Lewinsky's at the school, and one being my old babysitter, another being the now mother of my 22-year-old half-brother. Yes, my father had a child with a student. Ask me any questions you may have. Man, that 11 labs block ain't doing you too well. Anyway, yeah, if there was a way to disown a parent, I would have gone down that path if I was this woman already. Come on, who the fuck is that shitty? Back in the days, some wealthy men would keep marrying young women for things like finding a male heir, status, or etc. But nowadays, that is purely disgusting in Snoop Dogg. I don't know what you gave to that gentle, erm, um, to that man, but maybe you should let him off the hook, perhaps? Who are you to talk about that, Ben? You are just a spoiled teacher's pet, whose only accomplishment is being a weirdo who knocks off to anything that looks like a meatball. Like Donald, you can say it. Meatball Ron? Yeah, I can back you up on that. Listen closely, Ben. Go off and buy some more mine coins and play Minecraft on your 10-year-old Xbox 360. And hey, maybe shower every other day. Because what you're doing right now is ruining everyone's day, and- You want me to ruin everyone's day? Look outside, you motherfucker. Don't drop the soap, Snoopy. What's outside my crib, homie? You son of a bitch. When I get out of jail, you're a dead man. Bye, Anara, bitch.